Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. Uh, I'm not uh, gonna talk about my life and all that sort of stuff. I'm not even gonna make an intro, but I'm gonna go right into it. Um, basically what happened is uh, I updated my laptop and as soon as I updated my laptop, I realized that something was wrong right away. Because as soon as I updated my laptop, uh, I logged into my user account and uh, I was faced with a black screen right away. And uh, the thing is, the black screen was just there on all of my accounts. I have like two other accounts. Um, oh yeah, I can't show you, but I have two other accounts on this computer. And all of my accounts were just corrupted, and they all had black screens. And I couldn't do anything, you know. Uh, all I could see was basically my cursor. And uh, this is the exact same screen that I was prompted with. Uh, let me just show you guys. Literally, this is it. This is what happens after you basically log in to your computer, pretty much. Um, if you see what he's doing, yeah, he's, he's basically doing a control alt delete. I'm gonna explain what, what, how to kind of fix it, okay? Now look, if you guys searched online and you guys looked around YouTube and you couldn't find a way to solve it, like what happened to me, um, I basically read a forum post that basically solved my issue pretty much. And the way to solve it is actually quite simple. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do, imagine, imagine you have a black screen at the moment and all you can see is basically your cursor, okay? I fixed it, so I'm not gonna put myself into that position again, but yeah, let's imagine my screen is completely black and all I can see is basically my cursor. What you wanna do is you basically wanna do Control Alt Delete and when you do Control Alt Delete, it'll still work and you'll still see the same exact thing. What you wanna do then is you just wanna press on Task Manager. And when you, you press on Task Manager, you'll probably see it like this, okay? Basically a small little tab. What you wanna do is you wanna press on More Details. And basically when you press on More Details, press on File, Run New Task and type this. Services.msc, services.msc, okay? Press Enter or press OK. And it should pop up for you, it should come up, okay? And when it does come up for you guys, what you guys need to do is you're gonna see something called app readiness. App readiness, do you guys see it? It is going to be on manual, so you need to press properties, okay? Before, before, like, okay, mine is on disabled right now, but you guys, it should be on manual, okay? If it's on manual, make sure you put it on disabled, okay? If that is your issue, make sure you put it on disabled. And what you want to do is, uh, once you put it on disabled, you're going to close this. And uh, once you close it, all you're going to do is you're basically going to restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, you should be able to log into your user account. And once you log into your user account, everything should be fine again, and you should be able to see your screen. Um, pretty much what I realized was... Um, the reason to, you know, as to why I got a black screen and all was pretty much an app was running in the background that conflicted with an update that happened on my Windows, pretty much. I have no idea what that app was, and uh, quite frankly, I'm not bothered to find out what that app was, but it was quite messed up because I couldn't use my computer at all for like three, four hours, and it was really hard to kind of figure it out and like see what was up and to see what was actually wrong with it, okay? There are a couple of other ways you can pretty much fix it. Like if I show you guys this method, for example, this method uh, is something that I tried, okay? Basically what you wanna do is, um, yeah, okay, you're gonna run, you're gonna press Control Alt Delete, okay? This is method two, by the way, okay? Let's imagine my method doesn't work, okay? This is method two. What you're gonna do is okay, you're gonna press Control Alt Delete, okay? You're gonna left click on the file tab, okay? You're gonna press on run new task, same exact thing, same exact thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in reg edit, okay? And this is gonna your, open your registry folder pretty much. You're gonna press okay, and once you press okay, um, basically you're gonna press on local machine, make sure you press on local machine, and after you press on local machine, press on software, and then Microsoft, okay? Make sure you press on local machine, software, Microsoft, and then you're gonna press on Windows NT, and when you press on Windows NT, uh, you're gonna press on, sorry, I'm just watching the video because I remembered, uh, I'm, I'm like trying to remember what I did as well. Yeah, you're gonna press on Windows NT and then you're gonna press on current version and after that you're gonna press on, uh, there's something else that'll pop up here, one second. Yeah, uh, win login, win, win log on, win log on, sorry. Okay, W-I-N-L-O-G-O-N, make sure you press on that. And what you want to do is you want to look at the right-hand side and you want to scroll down. You're going to find something called Shell, okay? And you need to see if Shell is uh, 
set as explorer.exe. So you want to double click on it and you for the value data, make sure you put explorer.exe. And after that, you're going to press OK pretty much. And uh, yeah, you're going to close Windows and you'll basically just restart your computer. Uh, you're going to restart it through Control Alt Delete, by the way, since you have a black screen pretty much. Um, it's kind of messed up because, yeah, this is the exact same screen I was prompted with. I had a black screen for quite a long time and I really did not know how to fix it. So, yeah, hopefully this does help you guys in some form or another. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I'll try my best. I'll try my best to help you guys. Okay, so peace out and have a fantastic day, you guys. Ciao, ciao.